Obasanjo Abdul Salami Oni Sultan and others to meet over in security. Former President of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, traditional rulers and some other statesmen are planning to meet over the security challenges affecting Nigeria. The meeting was fixed for Thursday, the 27th of May. However, no reason was given for its postponement. The meeting is now expected to hold on the 10th of June, 2021 at the Transcorp Hilting Abuja. Recall that the presidency had condemned the plan by Affair Babalola SAN to hold a conference on security and other issues in the country. The presidency in a statement released through the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Additional, on the 4th of May, accused those behind the conference of planning to pass a vote of no confidence in the president, Major General Buhari. Okay. Additional statement read in part championed by some disgruntled championed by some disgruntled religious and past political leaders, the intention to eventually throw the country into a tailspin which would compel a forceful and undemocratic change of leadership. Further, unimpeachable evidence shows that these disruptive elements are now recruiting the leadership of some ethnic groups and politicians around the country with the intention of convening some sort of conference where a vote of no confidence would be passed in the president, thus throwing the land into further turmoil. Those expected to attend the Obasanjo meeting included include the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Muhammad Abubakar, the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogumusi, a former head of state, Abdul Salami Abubakar, and a former president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, John Cardinal Onayekan. A letter signed by Obasanjo read in part, I am pleased to invite you on behalf of the Interfaith Initiatives for Peace, jointly led by the Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad Abubakar, John Cardinal Onayekan, National Peace Committee chaired by General Abdul Salami Abubakar, and Social Cultural Consultative Committee for Goodness of Nigeria to an exploratory meeting on pressing issues of nat national security. National unity, security, peace, integration, economic revitalization, development, women and youth welfare, and general progress. Other groups expected to attend include the Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afenifere, Igbo Group, Ohaneze, and Pan Niger Delta Forum, as well as the Middle Belt Forum. All right. Well, this obviously, they've not really given a reason or it's been postponed, so obviously we're going to have to wait. But then I think one thing that we have to highlight here is um, is just, it's like, okay, fine, they released a, pre uh, a statement saying that those headlining the meeting plan to make a vote of no confidence. Basically, it means that they are planning to say something or give their thoughts on something that contradicts what they plan on saying or what they plan on doing and it just shows that can we actually have our voices heard in the country because additional statement read in part in which he is the special advisor to the president he says championed by some disgruntled religious and past political leaders i mean what a shady comment like there's this meme by you know um is it in in came what i says if you want to if you want to talk to me talk to me stop cutting through the corners this imagine the insult championed by some disgruntled religious and past political leaders the intention is to eventually throw the country into a tailspin eventually turn the country into a tailspin this is suggesting that at the current moment the country is in a, such a fantastic place where in the nearest future as a result of this meeting the country will be turned into a tailspin huh huh as if what we're going through right now is not even worse than a tailspin i don't understand and then he continues and says which would compel a forceful and undemocratic change of leadership the fact that they're all going to vote and give their opinion makes it democratic if you do not know so i don't understand where obviously come on it's politics in nigeria you can't necessarily expect Expect the brightest of brightest of you know representatives to to 
do what is right because again you now headlining meetings like this and you know having what because it may, again there's the presidency is basically assuming that as a result of the meeting the no confidence vote basically sh is basically against what they want and of course they're all they're all working together however as much as okay fine they're working against that i think it's just distraction because again it, come on come on we are looking at the former president of nigeria Alicia Gombasanjo. we're looking at um and uh, abdul salami on his sultan all these people well, yeah i mean their past i mean to be honest if we look at the statistics, I don't even know where I got this information from. I think I saw it online. Um, and I think it, it was comparing like figures, figures of debt and and um and our exports value and all that. And in Olusha Gombasanjo's time, he was actually the best. He, he really started declining from when he was president. So again, maybe maybe one can argue that maybe he has a right to be there. However, he still does not take away the fact that corruption still went on and i think that at the end of the day you know who can we trust again past political leaders you are not entering this new space 2023 what do we think is going to happen my personal opinion is the the elections might not even happen because and from this answer protest i know for a fact that the youth are a no-nonsense youth and will be definitely intentional in changing you know how the course of 2023 is going to go in terms of just you know taking a stand and actually voting um but then again if you feel like it is rigged well you can't say it's unfair because again given the history of this country and rigging well it would not be an odd occurrence so yeah that's just basically what it is um so yeah again it's just like who can we really trust because it's highly unlikely that the youth right now would listen to these set of people no offense but come on they're not reliable they've not proven to be reliable and they're not they're not consistent in what they do so again why why should the youth take these people seriously absolutely not um so yeah that's just what it is i don't i don't even think i don't think, I don't think there's anything deep to it because they've postponed the meeting which now shows that okay fine there's going to be some you know clash not clash but um quarrels between the presidency and you know these men trying to get to a meeting and do whatever they want to do Whatever the aim is, I mean, the aim is to talk about these things, but then again, they always talk about these things and all they know how to do is blow grammar that we don't understand and still not even get to the point. So again, this meeting hasn't happened, it's been postponed, so until then, we'll see what actually happens. Put what you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.